Hello everyone and welcome back to Lawrence Place Factorio Space Exploration. So this is not actually Myokia. This is another planet where I've um, established another new facility on, out on a planet called Ganymede. And this one is another vulcanite producing facility, but as you can see we're producing it on a slightly larger scale up here. And there have been a few challenges to this, but I'll, have you, I'll give you a quick tour of the, uh, the base that I've got set up here first and then talk about the, uh, some of the issues I ran into. So as you can see, this is a handy planet because it's got both vulcanite and big patches of water available. And that means it makes it a lot easier to have lots and lots of power, lots of just lots of everything really. Um, because you need you need quite a lot of water for dealing with vulcanite and you need quite a lot of um, power as well. And the easiest way to make power is with a nuclear uh, power plant like this one. Uh, which appears to be rather low on fuel. I'm going to have to take a look at that. Why isn't there any... Why isn't that running? Or why isn't that working? I'm going to have to have a look at that station and find out why that's not working, because this, this is a serious problem at this point. Um, okay, so I've got the, the, the standard nuclear power plant down here that's keeping the whole base ticking over. Um, and then we've got up, I've got a, a uranium mine here, I've got a vulcanite mine down here, iron up here, and copper as well, and a few other little bits of railway to, for a few extra, and an oil one as well. So it's pretty much pretty much standard. That's all being fed into one of my standard um, unloading stations here. And then this, this is basically what I had built on Myokin. And it was, it was a good starting point. So I thought I'd make a copy of that as a start and then expand it out a bit to make sure I got a bit more, a bit more, res uh, the resources coming through a bit faster. So over here, I've got another, basically this, this is the same again, but twice as big. So I've got three times what I had on Myokin at the moment. And I'm wondering if I perhaps should be expanding this a bit further. But it's, it's running okay as it is. I've got, as you can see, I've got a nice stream of, um, a vulcanite being produced at the moment and it's completely filled up this rocket here this is the first one um, I mean so my plans are to have one one rocket facility here that's sending rockets back to Norvis because I'm gonna need a lot of uh, vulcanite down there for use in the um, in the smelting facilities on, on, on Norvis itself and also for fuel as well I suppose and I've got a second one here that's being now being filled up now this one's full and this one's going to be used mostly for taking um, for to taking Vulcanite off to the to the space base that I'm going to make for, for doing future science in the future. I've also there's a slight problem here in that producing Vulcanite produces enormous quantities of stone as well as you can see by I mean it's it's not as much as there is the Vulcanite but there is a lot of stone being produced. And so at the moment I've just got that all that feeding into another rocket and that's as you can see is it's like it's probably more than it's about three quarters full now. Um, so it seems. That filling up these two rockets with vulcanite is probably going to roughly fill up this one with um, with stone as well. So that's going to be another thing to worry about. I've tied the um, the steam outputs from the um, from the vulcanite processing to some turbines down here, just something to use it up. And it, and these turbines are using the steam up faster than it's generated. And I've got the same over here as well. And again, as you can see, these these pipes are empty, so the steam is being used up quickly enough, and it's just producing that little bit extra power. I've not bothered with any of the condensing turbines or things like that because I don't. I've got an infinite supply of water because of the lake, so I don't need that. And vulcanite is, of course, being brought in by train. The other thing I've done. So over here, I need an input of. Um, oh, there's there's a train with some more vulcanite. I need an input of iron ore, of iron and oil and copper in order to make the um, meteorite defence ammunition, and so. That's that was slightly tricky. I'm, I, I looked around and I thought um, I actually I actually built up this copper mine and an iron mine up here before really thinking about this. And I thought actually, why not instead of using um, iron instead of using the, these mines which are going to run out eventually? Because well I, I sort of yeah there's only fifteen thousand left in that one. That one admittedly has two hundred sixty thousand, so it would last a while. But I thought instead let's set up some core miners here, and then we can use those. And when, if, you, if you set up core mining on a vulcanite planet, you end up with a huge supply of vulcanite uh, with a huge supply of vulcanite being produced and lots of these core fragments. So I'm then filtering that out, taking out the vulcanite and the stone that's produced from this, and then the core fragments are being then ripped apart into, in the same way that they would be on down on Norvis. So you're getting the iron and copper ore and some stone and some and some coal out of that as well, and that's then all being fed down here when we've got a sort of sorting array, a bit like the ones I've been using before for in other places. So we're pulling out the iron ore here to go down to be made into iron and then into steel for the uh, for the for the ammunition. And then the copper ore is being pulled over here to be made into copper for the green circuits and for the batteries. So I think this is, does seem to be reasonably balanced. The rate we're getting, as you can see, we've got 
the copper has filled up, the iron has also basically filled up, and it seems, looking at this, the um, the fact that we've got this this copper is just full, it makes it look like we're that that, that just making the um, the the meteorite ammunition out of the out, out of this, it seems to be producing about the right amount of using about the right amount of right proportions of copper and iron, which is quite handy. I was worried that one of these was going to back up or cause issues. And I've got a steady supply of, of iron coming in from one of the stations. I haven't actually hooked up the copper one properly. I'm, I'm not quite sure why not. I'm surprised this hasn't filled up with um, with uh, with copper ore, but it doesn't seem to have done so. I've obviously done something a bit dumb there. Um, the, the coal is a bit more, going to be a bit more of a problem. So at the moment I'm just shoving it into this chest because uh, it doesn't produce all that much of it. But eventually this is going to back up and I'm going to go, uh, well, I don't know what to do now. So I might I might stick in a warehouse to store this before I go as well. Um, we're then, yeah, sorting the stone out onto here where it'll get passed around and put into the rocket. And the vulcanite is just getting fed into the belts down here where it'll get used up with absolutely everything else. So it's just it's something to reduce the load on the vulcanite mines ever so slightly because the... the this thing is actually genuinely infinite. It does use a lot of power, but I've got my nuclear, so that shouldn't be an issue, at least if I had fuel for it. So that's that's what's going on up here, and that's basically... Uh, it, it's working okay. The the problem... So as, as I said, there are a few problems I ran into. One of them is, if we look on the Universe Explorer... Um, so we've got... Ka Kalidus is the, is the sun that uh, Norvis is, is floating around. Um... And unfortunately, Ganymede is not in orbit around Kalidus, it's around Staterius, which is a completely different sun. And that means that sending rockets back and forth between these places is enormously expensive in fuel. It takes 500,000 fuel in order to fly a rocket between those systems. Uh, it doesn't take any more time, but it takes an enormous amount of fuel for all the, all the Delta V you need for, to, to escape from the system. And that's... That's kind of unfortunate. It did mean that when I realised that I'd not brought all of the stuff I needed out with me, um, I, I, it took a very long time for the new, a new rocket to get ready on Norvis because there isn't a particularly great supply of, um, of Vulcanite there. And now that I've got my supply, and now that I'm trying to fuel it up for, even from Vulcanite, it's taking a very long time to fill this up, even though I've got like, all of this Vulcanite available. It's still quite a slow process. So, in hindsight, Perhaps coming here wasn't the best idea. I should have actually just ended up shipping massive quantities of ice to uh, Miokin. Um, but the problem is that, yeah, I was just very, very short of Vulcanite planets. So I sort by or main ore type. Um, so we've got um, we've got Ganymede, which is where I am, and it has a massive Delta V requirement to get there. We've got Miokin, which doesn't have water. And we've got Sukimi, which has hordes and hordes and hordes of biters. So I didn't really want to go there either. Um, it's uh, yeah, it, it was a bit of a tricky, uh, tricky decision on what what to do. Um, I ended up actually I ended up coming to Ganymede before I realised just how much fuel it took. So it was a not particularly good planning there. But so so in order to keep this working, um, every so often I'm going to send out I'm going to bring out rocket parts as I was discussing previously. Um, so here we've got chests full of um, stacked rocket sections they're being put onto this belt brought down here where they're unpacked and fed into the three rockets and of course the inserters that are doing that have got the um, the settings on them to only insert if there's less than 100 um, and I'm doing the same with um, cargo pods uh, yeah and um, I've got the oat stack size set to one there so it'll only ever put one cargo pod into the rocket so in theory these rockets should never have a second cargo pod in them they should just be full of vulcanite or stone and that seems to be basically working. Uh, we've got, so, so we've got exactly the same thing on all three of those. I've got this set, I think, when it to launch. Yes, launch on green signal when cargo falls. So the green signal is going to be carrying a signal from here, and we'll have a uh, this thing. In fact, will work out when there's the right amount of um, when there's sufficiently little fuel down on Norvis to, to launch the rocket. And I'll I'll set up the same thing for the other um, other ones as well. I just haven't haven't got there yet. Um, other problem, yeah. The, the, so the other problem, the problem was, as I said, I came up here without enough stuff. I, I was able to set this up, but I didn't have enough um, pulverizers to set all of this up, or to set this up. So I brought some extra out, and now that's working happily. Uh, there were a few other. Th oh yeah, yellow. Uh, I only brought yellow belts with me, so now I've got blue belts as well. So this is all running a bit faster. So I don't need to um, add in too much extra other stuff. Uh, I think I could I could get away with adding a bit more in here if I've got enough pulverizers left. I'm not sure. Let's have a quick look. Where is it? Here. These these things are holding all of the stuff I'm bringing in, and 
we have... Yes, I've got another 12 pulverizers and lots of assembly machines, he says, hopefully, because he's not being able to find them. Maybe I have run out of, maybe I've run out of assembly machines. Or maybe I've just claimed, no, I haven't got them all here. Uh, yeah, I've run, okay, I've run out of assembly machines, so I, so I can't actually um, expand this out any further because I've run out of this part. I could start building them out here, they're not too difficult, they just take iron and copper, I think. Um, yeah, oh, iron, copper, and stone, and steel. But I've got all, I've got all that here, so I could start making some more. Get this, speed this up a bit. The thing is, I don't I don't know how long this rocket full of um, of uh, vulcanite is going to last me down on Norvis once I start using it for smelting. So it's a bit difficult to say. But for now, we'll um, we'll leave this as is. Um, I think we'll we'll see how I feel. So that's been my new um, new outpost, and that's been the main thing I've been working on. As you might remember from pre the previous episode, uh, you, pro you probably do because it's been a lot more recent for you than it was for me. <laughs> I spent some time before um, over here on Norvis, I was setting up all of this um, this massive smelting array to, that's going to run on the Vulcanite once I start bringing it in. Um, a little bit cart before the horse there, but never mind. And my spaceport here. So this is where the Vulcanite rockets are going to drop. They're going to dump all of the Vulcanite onto this belt that'll then load up a train here that can then take it off to wherever it's needed. And of course, we're making rocket parts here. However, not as quickly as I would like because we're running very, very low on um, plastic. In fact, that's running it. That's causing problems in all kinds of places because I think I think we're also having issues with the uh, some of the circuit production. That one's okay. This one, yeah. So here we go. The red circuit production has run out of plastic completely. And so I did some building on it for this before I set off. So over here, I put in some extra uh, refineries. And over here, I put in loads of extra um, machines making plastic and with lots of productivity modules in them. So they'll be making more plastic from the resources. The problem is, adding in all of that extra load has meant that I've now completely run out of petroleum gas. It's That's the limiting factor. This this system is capable of producing two completely full blue belts, I believe, when it's um, actually running flat out. Uh, it's wired up slightly. The belts are lined up slightly oddly. Um, oh, I see. Yes, there's... Um, machines on both sides both unloading onto the middle onto the center belt but then it goes up and round the top because there wasn't room to run a second one down the middle okay that makes sense um so the problem is i don't have oil coming in quickly hmm. maybe i do have oil coming i do have a decent amount of oil but the machine I, I don't know there's there are bottlenecks in here that means i don't have enough petroleum gas being produced i've added in Okay, coal is also a bit of a, a bit of a shortage. We've got that being pumped through, but as you can see, this was it's only just refilled. So there are gen generally there are shortages everywhere, and I'm not making plastic quickly enough. So that needs me to come in and have a good look at it and work out why and put in some of the missing pylons like that one. So yeah, there are there are problems here. I don't know. I might need to just create a new plastic producing facility that's. A better design or a smoother design I'm I'm not sure it does look like oil and coal are being brought in at a reasonable rate so we shall have to see so actually let's have a quick look what are we running short of so there's no plastic no vulcanite no what you rate important plastic but okay so there is a shortage of coal here on Norvis we need I think I think I need to open up some more coal mines around here and some more crude oil mines Okay, so that's 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 something to do when I get back to Norvis, I think, uh, to generally sort out this plastic production. As you can see, I've got it here on the um, on the to-do list. I haven't ticked it off yet. Um, there's no subtasks for this, and the vulcanite has had me going off to get the extra. So that's that bit's done. But I need now get get in the vulcanite as I mentioned to get this working properly. Um, and that's most of what I've been doing. It's because it's been all of this stuff up here. This has actually been quite time consuming uh, to, to get all of this built up, but it's actually very, very quick to talk about it. So there's not all that much to say in this episode. It's, um, it's, it's going to be a little bit, a bit shorter than they normally are. Um, but I think that's okay. It's, it, it covers what I've been up to, what's been going on, and, and how, how things are generally going up here. I just need to try and produce vulcanite and, and produce rocket fuel a bit more quickly. Um, yeah, so that's been uh, that's been the last while of production. Oh, and I've got down here. I've got, and in case of emergencies, I can turn um, turn any leftover stone into landfill just to pack it down a bit. But that's not well. It's something to do with it, I suppose. So that's what I've been doing. I've built. I've got a. I've, I've got a now much faster supply of vulcanite. It should be about at least three times as fast as it was before. Um, I'm not 
entirely sure that's going to be enough. Maybe I need to extend this further. But for now, it'll it'll probably do. I think maybe I'll come back here later with when when I've got when the fuel is a bit more available. Put in some more. Put in another copy or two of this. Maybe have some more belts feeding it across, or just fill absolutely everything up with um, with productivity modules. And that way, I can put in a lot more without. I can get a lot more output without as much without needing all of the input. I think that's probably the best way to do it. Especially as, yeah, if I can put them in these ones, that's after the stone is produced. So it will increase the amount of vulcanite produced without increasing the amount of stone. And that will definitely help. But I've got, I need a lot more modules than I've got here available. So that'll have to be something I bring with me on a, on a, on a future trip. So, what's next? Well, next episode, I'm going to hopefully have this finished off. So I'll give you a quick show, uh, showdown, show, show of what I've changed, and then get on with the, uh, and then be able to get on with other things. Hopefully, I'll, I'll have got plastic production up to up to speed, and that'll be working nicely. And hopefully, the smelting with vulcanite will be running. I'll then, I suppose, be moving around, getting upgrading more of my resource ship shippings because at the moment it's not remotely fast enough um, it's, it's, the other things aren't going to be fast enough for what I want I'm going to want to start building the, building every, every other resource in significantly larger quantities so I'm going to chuck it all into rockets um, But so that's going to be a sort of a, a bit repetitive so I'll probably gloss over that quite quickly but then I can get on to the exciting part which is starting the tier 2 space science so I'm looking forward to that but it's going to be a while till I get there so, I think that's everything I'm going to talk about. Thank you for watching, and um, I hope I'll see you next time. <laughs> and I hope you're looking forward to it. I'll see you then.